model. So we see that uh, uh, there is there are at least two two phenomena which are not taken into account. So first one is that uh, there is some repetition of the information because uh, imagine that at first time step you uh, you take the average of your neighbors that the opinion of your neighbors. So this is fine, but then at the second time step, you still average this opinion, which is uh, itself an, an average also, all, all, uh, of also other opinions. So there is some redundancy, some repetitions in the information you, you aggregate. And uh, this has been noticed uh, in particular by uh, the Marzo. And uh, he spoke about persuasion bias because uh, since you listened uh, many times to this, in fact, the same information, and this is not taken into account in the model. So there is a, a second uh, point is that uh, in the, the growth model, the, the weights of confidence on the other agents is uh, fixed and does not vary with time. And uh, this also may be not so realistic, in, in particular if you aggregate opinions which are very different from yours. That's why uh, there are at least this uh, two, two, uh, two generalizations. The one by the Marzo and the colleagues about the first point and the second one, uh, this is a topic of bounded confidence models, especially the model of Excelman, Krauss, but also others like Defuant and so on. Okay, so what we want to do is to consider both aspects at the same time and uh, having in view applications in uh, election campaigns, for example. So uh, we have three kinds of results uh, about uh, network stability. Is the network still changing in time? Uh, can we have polarization? And what about uh, the final opinion? So uh, the outline is the follow. Uh, so first we briefly recall uh, related models. Then we present our model and uh, the different result in stability, polarization, and convergence. So, um, so first, I, I would like to recall this uh, the growth model and its variant by the Marzo, Vianos, and Swivel. So, in uh, all the talk, uh, the sets will be set of engines will be denoted by N, calligraphy N. And uh, the opinion of an agent I is denoted by Xi, supposing to vary in time, and suppose also to be in the uh, continuous interval 0, 1. Okay. So now uh, each agent puts a weight, a weight on uh, the opinion of any other agent. This is denoted by Wij. Uh, these weights are normalized, and uh, so they form a raw stochastic matrix. So, uh, as it is well known, so the growth model consists in averaging the opinion of the other agents, including uh, yourself. Okay, so in a matrix equation, this is uh, this, this form, this is a vector of opinion map. Next time step, this is the matrix of weight. And uh, so this is uh, equal to, in fact, uh, initial opinion vector, x0, uh, multiplied by the matrix at the power t plus 1. Now, if uh, we consider this the marzo vianos fibel model, so it's, it is slightly different because uh, not only you have this matrix of weight, but only also uh, you have a term where I is an identity matrix. So it is your opinion, 
that you weight with weight one minus lambda t and lambda t, which is supposed to be in between zero and one, is the weight for the whole matrix of weight, okay? Uh, so as you notice, lambda is varying with time uh, in a way which is not precise, precisely defined, but it should be decreasing with time. And also uh, the sum of these lambdas should uh, tend to infinity. Otherwise, uh, uh, the, the result of convergence is not valid. Okay, so this is a necessary condition. So as I explained before, this is uh, this lambda, this equation is to take account that there is repetition in the information. And so this permit to diminish uh, this uh, self repetition and to take more and more into account your own opinion. Okay. So now about bounded confidence models. So the famous model proposed by a cause uh, Excelman and Kors. So the idea is the following. You fix some uh, range of confidence D, and then you consider uh, only the agents which are close to you in opinion. So that is to say this set. Okay, so the distance of opinion should be smaller than D. And then it's a simple uh, de Groot model. So you take the average, but only uh, limited to your trusted agent. And as you see, there is no weight because uh, its uh, weights are equal on all the agents. So this is clearly a time varying model because uh, this set is varying with time. Uh, so the fundamental property of this model is that uh, curiously, uh, the opinions of the agents are ordered and this order is kept a long time and never vary. So for example, if you have X1 smaller than X2, then it will be so forever. Okay. So, uh, and uh, main property is that, uh, so you, you can order the agent X1, X2 till Xn, the largest opinion. And uh, you can consider uh, what is called D chain. It means that this is a, a sequence of neighboring agents in opinions, I, I, uh, of course. And uh, the distance between two consecutive agents is smaller than D, okay? Then is it is easy to see that uh, the opinion vector X can be partitioned into maximal D chains, which are disjoint. And this D chain evolve with time. It, it, it can be proved that uh, this uh, D chain can never merge, but they can split. At, uh, if the length is at least equal to five, okay? And uh, if not, then they necessarily collapse into a consensus into a single point. So we can see this on an example, maybe this is uh, uh, useful to, to, be, to be clear. So here is an example with seven agents and the distance is equal to one. In blue, this is the value of the opinion that is uh, considered as a real number. So you have two agents with opinion zero, two agents with opinion four, and so on. They are all linked together in this way because the distance is uh, uh, lower or equal to one, as you can see here. Then at next time step, agent two we average opinion of agent, uh, no, no, this is not the number of agents. This agent will average the opinion of his neighbors, which will be equal to two. So this point will not move, but what about this one? They will move because this agent has three neighbors and he will shift towards the left slightly and the same for agent three, uh, slightly towards the right, which means that these links will be broken because the distance now is greater than one. So this gives this, 
And if you continue at the next time step, oh sorry, uh, you see that uh, the chain has collapsed into a single uh, single point. Okay, the consensus among the three agents. So this is a general phenomenon with this model. So now let's try to, to present uh, our model. Uh, so notation is the same, n uh, is a set of agents, x is a vector of opinion. So we consider opinion is minus one plus one. Right. Sorry, Michel, one, yes. uh, can I interrupt you for a while? So yes. in fact, you have just, like, you could think about this like this. At the beginning, you have complete graph or in or or set with no connections. This is another point of view, in fact. Set with no connections, and you make connections based on uh, simil similarities of opinions. You connect only to these people that are distant yes. to some like yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm stressing this because we usually do something different. We have some sets. Uh, a uh, structure like some graph that is already mm -hmm. there and then we make some evolution so that's a, this is why why it's so important so we think about a set of agents and then we make connections based on uh, their opinion if they are close to to uh, to each other yeah. okay mm -hmm. thank you okay so uh yeah, so now in our model, so we have this opinion in minus one plus one, and we have some uh, network underlying underlying network, uh, with, which is evolving with time. Okay, for the moment we don't say how is this network, and just for notation, the links are denoted like this, links between i and j, and we assume this is important that. Uh, each agent has a self-loop, i, i, okay? So each agent uh, belongs to his neighborhood, in fact. So now the matrix of weight is extremely simple. It's just one divided by the number of your neighbors, included yourself, okay? That's only this, this is the simplest possible. And now, how is the updating of uh, the opinion? So this is the equation, and here you recognize something similar to this De Marzo model, although not completely the same, uh, because so uh, indeed you multiply uh, your matrix of weight by some lambda, and uh, the identity matrix by one minus lambda, and this lambda is varying with time, but now uh, this variation in time is specified. It's simply uh, the exponent t, okay? So this is lambda to the power t. t is the time index, you see? So uh, as lambda is in between zero and one, this is diminishing with time. And contrarily to the model of De Marzo, the sum of the coefficient of the lambdas is not, does not tend to infinity, but it's fine. That is a big difference. Okay? So mathematically, we cannot, uh, we cannot take the same methods. So now what about the network? The network also is evolving, and we suppose that uh, for the next time step, we add uh, all uh, links such that the uh, distance of opinion is smaller than uh, some threshold sigma, and we delete all links such that the distance is greater than sigma. Okay, so this is exactly like in the uh, HK, let us say, uh, Exerman Krause model. Okay, so this is a starting point. And now we can give some, uh, some interpretation. Suppose you have a, uh, a problem of uh, election campaign and there are two candidates symbolized by the opinions plus one and minus one. Uh, of course, G of T is a network represents the society that at a given time with its links among the individuals. And uh, when updating their opinion, each agent takes into account only agents 
with whom they have a link, okay? And they don't put especially uh, weights on, on these uh, agents, but they are equally weighted. So now uh, an agent, I may create a link with another agent if their opinion is close enough, okay? So in this case, uh, uh, close up to the value sigma. And if the distance is greater than sigma, then the link is broken, okay? Now, uh, what about the lambda? So here the lambda is interpreted as the intensity of debate, public debate and interaction among the, uh, the individuals in the society. This intensity can be, uh, it depends uh, on, the, on the intensity of the campaign itself. In fact, the candidates, they organize their campaign and they could organize a lot of debates or more or less uh, TV debate and, and so on. And so this uh, fixes uh, the level of lambda. Of course, if lambda is equal to zero, there are absolutely no interaction at all. And each individual uh, just keeps uh, his opinion constant. And if lambda is equal to one, then this is the maximal possible in interaction. But this is equal to the degroot model. Okay. Now, uh, so as I said, lambda to the power of t is decreasing with time, which means that the agents at the beginning they listen carefully to others' opinion, and then they listen less and less because they uh, gradually crystallize their own opinion and then don't, do not listen anymore to the others. This is the idea of the lambda to the power of t, okay? Okay, so now we can uh, start to explain uh, the results and still we, we need to introduce this notion. Uh, we say that the pair x and g at time t, so x is the opinion vector, g is the graph. The pair is compatible if simply there is nothing to change in the, in the network with respect to the opinion distance. Okay? There is a link if and only if the opinion distance between the two agents is smaller than sigma. So uh, we suppose for simplicity that the vector of opinion is ordered at the initial time zero. X1 is the smallest opinion, X2 then Xn, okay? And uh, this is not a surprise, but we get exactly the same result as uh, examen Krause. That is to say, this is the points two and three. Uh, the order, this order will never change with time, okay? So if the two values are equal, then it will remain equal forever if and they are strictly, this is strictly smaller than this one, then it remains smaller, maybe equal, but if lambda is different from one, it is also strictly uh, smaller, okay? So just a notation that maybe this is not so important. I don't use it after. So uh, here's just a picture to, to visualize this. Uh, so from left to right, this is the value of the opinion. So minus one here and plus one here. And then it is increasing in this direction. And so if we take uh, an agent I, uh, all its neighbors are, uh, are here. So it's blue neighbors and this orange uh, neighbors. Okay. And uh, uh, so I visualized also other agents with their links. And you see that there is no link uh, whose length is greater than sigma. Sigma is the maximum distance opinion you can allow. Okay, so this is a kind of uh, uh, picture of network you get. And what is important to notice is that uh, uh, the set of neighbors is always an interval. This is the 
the leftmost neighbor and this is the rightmost neighbor and all agents between these two are necessarily uh, of course neighbors of this uh, agent i okay so so now we can go to the to the results uh, so first we will speak about uh, in under which condition a link will disappear because uh, so we, we in fact we as I will tell I we make the focus on uh, the deletion of links rather than the creation in fact in our in our uh, setting uh, we don't study really the creation of new links okay but we focus on the deletion of links because one of the question is about polarization. We don't want the, we would like to know in which condition the network will be disconnected. Okay. So we, we study in detail what we call link fragility, which means uh, simply that this link has a possibility to, to break. So first notion is to consider uh, only maximal links. That, that is to say, we say that a link is maximal. If, uh, if you, you take uh, an agent to the left of I and another to the right of J, then it cannot be a link because uh, distance will be greater than sigma. Okay, so a link uh, maximal, it means that uh, it's equal to sigma or not far from this, okay? So now the question of stability is the following. Uh, so if we take such a, a link, the question is, is this link will be present at next time step in the network, uh, whatever the distribution of opinion at time t. So the question is more, in the structure of the network than in the precise value of X. So we want to be robust to the value of the opinion. And of course, it's easy to see that uh, we can only focus on maximal links because if these one are breaking, then the other also, of course, yeah. So now it, it's possible to answer this question just knowing the, what we call the local structure of the link. So there is some notation, so it's much more convenient to see this on the picture. So let us consider this link ij in red. And L is simply the number of left neighbors. Here the blue, left neighbor neighbors of i. And R is the number of white neighbors of j in green here. Okay. M is the number of neighbors in the middle. They are common to I and J. And what is this small L and R? It's simply for each uh, neighbor in the middle, this is the number of links they have uh, outside this interval I and J. So for this one, it is here. And for this one, it is one neighbor here, okay? But for each, orange neighbor, we count the number of neighbors to the left and to the right outside the interval i and j. Okay, this is a local structure. Okay, so you can imagine if the network is given, then it's easy to compute. So now, uh, with this uh, notation in mind, we can define the fragility of a link, i and j. So this is the definition. It is quite uh, awful because it's looks very complicated. But of course, there is a, a good reason to take this definition. The good reason is that um, if this quantity is, uh, is smaller than one, okay, then you are sure that at next time step, and next time step, sorry, uh, this link will still be present in the network, whatever, the value of the opinion vector, provided it's compatible, of course, with the graph, okay? So you are secure with this, uh, with this condition. 
And if this is strictly greater than one, then it might happen that, no, it will happen for some X, at least one, that uh, this link will be broken, okay? This is the meaning. That's why the expression is complicated because it's obtained by a simply linear programming uh, optimization. Uh, so now, so uh, now we can say that a link is fragile is if uh, its fragility is strictly greater than one. So now we can define the fragility of a network is simply the maximum value of the fragility of a link over the network. So we denote it by uh, phi with a bar and uh, sub-index the name of the network. So what is easy to obtain is the following. This proposition is really uh, uh, an immediate consequence of the previous result. So uh, suppose that the initial network has no fragile link. link. And uh, this is important, in fact. So we here we assume that there is no link creation. Okay, this is important. Otherwise, this is not true. And then we can uh, we can be sure that for all value of lambda, uh, the structure of the network will never change with time. Okay. So uh, yes, if if. Um, if the, if, if the network has no fragile line, okay? So if this value is always, if this value is strictly, no, not strictly, smaller than one, okay? So this is easy to establish. Now there's something more difficult, but more important maybe. Uh, what can we say if the network has a fragile line link? Is it uh, automatically- Michel, can uh, I, can yes. I interrupt you once more? Because yes. maybe then I will. So, because I'm, I'm still thinking about this Krause-Hexelman model and, and results they obtained. And we know as physicists, of course, that for some sigma, you have like one opinion only in the system, for other, you have two opinions and so on and so on. So, of course, we are not doing this right now, but my question is, is your model, in fact, exactly the same as Krause Hexelman, but just the formulation is different to ask different question about fragility of links, for example. But for example, if I would ask another question, like in which case I would have three uh, separated groups or two separated groups or, or only one which is connected, I would end up with this um, conditions for for sigma, like uh, exactly like in the Krause Hexel manual. No, no more. Your model is not the same because you have the memory also. In memory, you you sorry, you you wait your yeah. Yes, you yes, wait right between enough. influence of others and my own, and it's diminishing in time. Okay, yeah. Sorry okay. for some. For some time, I, 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 yeah, I realized that, but then I was listening to, to this and I started to think, oh, maybe it just, the formulation is different because we ask different questions, but the model is different itself. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, so, yeah, 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 sure. sure. But I, I am, um, so you see this result is valid for any lambda. Mm -hmm. So I think it can be also applied to this uh, Exelman Krause model. Mm -hmm. I think we, we mm -hmm. could apply the same result, in fact. I and does it depend on this uh, power law function, which describes how it diminish in time, and or it's it's just for convenience for, to make calculations easier that you assume the power law function? Mm -hmm. Yes, if, of course. If you take something else, then uh, what you have obtained. In convergence will not be true at all, but for this for this result precisely, it will be valid because uh, we do the study between two time two time step only. So uh, we we don't care about how much uh, ah, differ. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think it um, mm -hmm. should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. So uh, yes. So now, if you mm -hmm. 
uh, what no I am ah yes 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 <laughs> something has disappeared so uh, we have a more general result saying that if there is a fragile uh, link uh, it's possible to keep the network stable provided lambda is not too big in fact it should be smaller than a constant which is difficult to express but we have it, it expression uh, I didn't put the detail because uh, there is too much notation to, to introduce. Uh, what is important is that this constant, constant exists is that it can be calculated uh, on the assumption, this is an important assumption. We suppose that the, uh, the difference of opinions do not exceed some quantity rho strictly smaller than sigma. This is the assumption, otherwise it's not correct. Okay, so now next uh, result about uh, polarization. Okay, so at which condition can we obtain, uh, can we keep a connected network? Uh, so we can use a previous result because uh, if you think about it, it amounts to check if such kind of uh, maximal link does not break. So you see, this is a link between I and its neighbor, next, the next one, the next agent. It means that there is nothing in between. So the, if this link breaks, then the network is disconnect, disconnected into two parts. Okay, that's why it's enough to concentrate on this. And for this kind of uh, link, the expression of the fragility is much simpler. And uh, then, yes, so this is a result. Uh, you can define this quantity, which is a maximum of uh, this fragility above uh, the over, over the network. And then it suffices that this quantity is smaller or equal to one and the network will remain connected. So similar to the previous uh, things, okay? And also similar to the previous result, we can refine this analysis uh, even if the, this quantity is greater than one, which implies that for some X, uh, it will be disconnected uh, with a similar assumptions that the opinion difference is bounded by rho. Then in the network can remain connected provided lambda is not too big. Again, there is a constant depending on these three quantities that we can compute, uh, which indicates the maximal value of lambda. Okay, so, uh, so now what about the convergence? So there, the, the form of the evolution of lambda is crucial, of course. Yeah. Uh, so first we suppose that the network has reached some stable state. So there is no fragile uh, link anymore and there is no link creation. Okay, so the network is now fixed and we would like to know the evolution of the opinion vector. So if we take again the updating equation of X, so this is the updating equation. So if we call this quantity in brackets M of T, then we get finally uh, this product. So this is uh, typically a time varying system. This is a product of uh, non-homogeneous uh, matrices. And uh, we can call this product H of T, okay? So it means that H of T is simply the product of all this uh, lambda G plus one minus lambda I, but the lambda is varying with uh, this time, okay? Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so everything is contained here. So we must study the behavior of this polynomial in G. Uh, so let us say th this is the form of the polynomial and we have to study these coefficients first to find them and to see what happens when t time tends to infinity. So 
so it's possible to do this. So here is the exact expression of this coefficient. So you see it can be, they can be obtained. They are not simple, yeah, that's for sure. And so the behavior when t tends to infinity is not simple at all. In fact, we don't have any, we don't know all <laughs> about this, but what we know is that uh, there are a lot of coefficients tending to zero. So all the coefficient h, i, t, or uh, where, where, where is this? No, 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 <laughs> this one. All the coefficients such that the index i depends on t and tend to infinity. Then this coefficient vanishes, the other not. And in particular, here is the limit for h0t, h1t, and in which we have used phi is the Euler function and c is the d gamma function. So you see, you must use the arsenal of uh, uh, special functions to, to solve this, and we are not able to find more. <laughs> so, but what we can we could do is to obtain an approximation of the value of the vector opinion at the convergence. So this expression is complicated. Again, you have this Euler and D gamma functions, but what is important to see is that uh, you have two, two parts. This part is a famous classical part of the De Groot model, which says that uh, the opinion vector tends to a consensus. This is the same value for all agents. And the second part is, uh, you see the matrix G, the original matrix G plus something, okay? Which means the following, uh, X at the infinity is not a consensus vector because this is a consensus part, but there is a non-consensus part. So it's not a consensus. This is uh, relatively good news because then uh, it means that we have, uh, succeeded to model something which is observed in, in reality, in fact, because uh, the consensus in each uh, cluster is not so realistic, in fact. Yeah? So this is a good, good point. So last point I would like to mention is about the diameter. Uh, the diameter is of an opinion vector is simply the max of minus the mean, so the, the range of the vector. And it's easy to show that this uh, uh, vector is uh, diminishing if you, this diameter is diminishing if you multiply by the matrix G. And also what is interesting is that the diameter is decreasing with lambda. So the, if lambda uh, is increasing, then the diameter is smaller and smaller. And this is interesting. And so based on this, now we are able to give some interpretation for our problem of election campaign. So we may suppose that there is a social planner who wants to prevent society from polarization and also aiming at the stability, okay? Then uh, based on our results, there is a control variable, which is lambda, the intensity of public debates in the society, which can be controlled more or less, okay? Uh, so we know from the previous result that to diminish the diameter of the opinion in the society, which may be something important to have, uh, then lambda must be as high as possible. There must be as much debate as possible, okay? But also based on our results, to prevent polarization, lambda cannot be too, too high. It should be smaller to, the, to this constant depending on these parameters I explained before. And if you want to uh, also ensure stability of the society, then the lambda must be even smaller because this constant is smaller than this one, evidently, because this is a stronger condition. You must be, uh, the polarization is less uh, demanding, okay? 
And so a uh, last point I, I mentioned also, uh, our result on convergence shows that even if there is no polarization, there is no consensus in society, contrarily to most models like uh, the group. And uh, also Excelman Krause, by the way. Uh, so this is called uh, strong diversity. So we obtain strong diversity uh, versus weak diversity, which is the result in this uh, model when there is uh, consensus. So, and this uh, finish my talk. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I have a question, but maybe some other people have also questions. So, so maybe first some of you would like to ask. Do you have questions? Mikoai, you have a question? Uh, no, no. No, okay. I thought that you have a question. No. Uh, so maybe maybe I will start. So for lambda equal one, in fact, you finish with Krause Hexelman model. Am I right or? Uh, yes, uh, yes. So at a small difference or maybe a big difference uh, is that uh, uh -huh. uh, some of our results say they don't consider the creation of links. Only the deletion. That's, that's a, a big ah, difference. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. ah. So that's yeah, why. It's so okay, okay. because it's I was still link. thinking that for lambda equals one, it should be the same. But yeah, right. No, it's, it will not be the same yeah. because of this. Yeah, yeah. And I think this is only. Uh, yes, it should be the only difference. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. but it's, it can be huge difference, in fact. Because yeah, it yeah, prevents, absolutely. Prevents this clusterization somehow. You don't have the splitting. Um, no, I think that the study of splitting should be okay. Uh, what is not uh, okay is uh, the fact that uh, the stability of the network, because we cannot say mm -hmm. that if there is no uh, breaking of links, there will be no creation. Ah, okay. Because if the diameter is uh, is getting smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. then normally new links will be created. So the network is still evolving. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. That, that's a difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's. And I'm I'm not very sure if I I understand it correctly. So maybe you will, you will uh, explain it once more. I understand what is consensus, but I don't understand what is then polarization. How would you define polarization? If because uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I let you continue. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Okay. how do you define polarization? Yeah, yeah. Polarization simply means that you have two clusters. In fact, the, the, the graph become disconnected. Okay. And each cluster will converge to something. So in the HK model, it's like this. You have the, mm -hmm. a lot of, maybe a lot of clusters, mm -hmm. and they all converge to consensus. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't mean that they don't have to be opposite or, or distant opinion, but just have to, they will- Just, will, just they, different. Yeah, yeah, just different and they have- uh, they, they are, no, they are apart from Sigma at least, because otherwise they- Yeah, just, otherwise they will not disconnect, of course. So they yes. will not, never very close to each other, but okay. Yes. So yes. what does it mean that there is, even there is no polarization, there is no consensus in... So it means that, uh, so it means that the, uh, the agents in a cluster, let us say, huh? okay, uh, contrarily to the HK model, they don't for, uh, they don't converge to a single value of opinion. Ah, that's what, ah, okay, yes. yeah, right, the, right. The, the, the agent will have different opinions. Okay, so yeah. you, will have you will have clusters 
Uh, but opinions inside of class yes. are totally different. Ah, yes. This is called a strong di di diversity. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know this. This is interesting. Ah, okay. So I, I, to be honest, I learned this today by reading some, <laughs> some <laughs> paper. Yeah, yeah. I, I found this quite interesting. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Weak I, diversity course, means yeah. it's simply in each cluster in converge to one value. Uh -huh, uh -huh. consensus and strong diversity means that it's not like this uh -huh. and in fact in reality it, it is strong diversity uh -huh. because you can never can never say that uh, the people they are exactly the same opinion yeah yeah, yeah yeah sure sure Arek, did you obtain something Arek, uh, did you obtain something similar within your model uh, or non-year voter model with Coevolution, you also have this possibility that you have several clusters, but no consensus inside or not? Uh, I mean, uh, no. If network is uh, fragmented, then inside each of the clusters, there are the same opinions. So, uh -huh. we... so maybe yeah, this is a very interesting idea also with this waiting uh, my own opinion with others and the mission in time. So like introducing mm -hmm. memory. I think that, of course, you are doing different models than we are, but this, yeah, this I see. would yeah, be yeah, interesting totally. maybe even to apply to also to what we are doing. So, hmm, thank you very much. Very stimulating talk. I, I, yeah, I have several new ideas. Okay, uh, any other questions maybe? <laughs> Maybe I've got uh, one. Uh, so, uh, can we suppose, uh, um, for example, uh, be, because the application uh, to election campaign um, is very interested for me, and can we su suppose, for example, uh, what was the lambda level uh, during uh, last elections, for example, in the USA, where um, uh, where the um, society was uh, the most polarized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, yeah. So apparently, <laughs> the level was high because effectively uh, they obtained polarization of the society. So it means that uh, there was a lot of uh, debates, and uh, this caused. Uh, if you look at this result here, uh, that it was above some constant in the. The polarization occur. Yeah, but it's a good a question. Probably uh, also not very convenient for us as a theorist, but but also good question. Would it be possible to measure it somehow? This this lambda. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because me also myself, I'm doing the theoretical models, and I also have, always have problems when people are asking me, "Do you have any data?" Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any data, <laughs> and I don't deal That's... with. Data, but it. <laughs> Interesting to think, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's difficult. I have no idea how to, to yeah. measure this. How to, how to measure no, this. That, that's really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. at, at least we know that it exists. But of course, then how to yeah, measure Yeah, so it <laughs> represents something for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Don't be shy, even if they are more empirically only oriented, like. Mikoai's question you can still ask. Of course, we don't know if Michel will uh, give, uh, uh, he will give an answer, but maybe not like, <laughs> the one you expect, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I see that there is a problem with the Zoom seminars that people are not asking so many questions. Uh, and, yes, that's a general phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but anyway, I, I really like the I really like the talk. Maybe also because Fen was talking last time, and I ah, told yes. her at that time that it was a bit dif too difficult for me as a physicist because this this is a different approach. Although I should used to this because I saw several lectures like, like mathematical more mathematical lectures. But I think because of her lecture, so thank you, Fen, if you are still here. Uh, I, it was easier for me today also to follow. And all these uh, examples, like you also present this opinion and connections, Fan was also using this. These are really helpful. And I think we, are do we don't uh, use this type of visualization. So I think that also that this is something we can learn. 
So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you put this uh, like yeah, on this on the line, yeah, yeah, on different so, opinions, and yeah. then yeah. and then it's easy to see how it will split, and so yeah, it's very nice. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so for this kind of model, it's convenient. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's mm. very good. And Fen was doing this, but I had to use to uh, <laughs> to do some <laughs> of presentation. Okay, any other question? I was talking as usually too much probably, but maybe some other questions. If not, thank you very much for uh, for your lecture, really stimulating. Maybe we'll do something in this direction and we will let you know for sure. And next week Agnieszka will talk. And again, it will be something like this. I mean, in this uh, way, in, in, a, in a sense that's also in the spirit of more mathematical talk, yes? I think uh, you, you talk about me, Kasia, yeah? Yeah, yeah I mean, I think it is two weeks. I think it's two weeks. In two weeks, no? Two I weeks. think it's... Ah, in two yeah, weeks. It was at the eight, I think, right? Yes. That's yes. what I know. This is what? what I know. You know that I made a note. Is it correct or not? I mean... Yes, probably <laughs> yes. I will check. I will check. But probably yes. Uh, and this is good that you told me, because if, if, if this is correct... Sorry, uh, for a while. And you, this is probably correct. Uh, yeah, just you know to be sure. I would yes, not yes, like yes, to miss my own talk. You see. <laughs> Let me check. So, yeah, indeed, you have uh, you have talked in two weeks. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Okay. so okay. So uh, in one week we will have uh, physicists, statistical physicists, Joseph Indeke from Level. And uh, so probably it will be completely different talk. I, I see that some people are already disconnected. So uh, so it will be something different to everything we heard before. I mean, I, I think because <laughs> what, <laughs> because no, for the first first lecture were given by people that are working really in the field of sociophysics, physicists, but working in the field of sociophysics. Mm. Now we had. I call you mathematicians, maybe not true, economists working in the field of opinion dynamics, but it, it is more mathematical. And then we will have a theoretical physicist who is really a statistical physicist. Sometimes he's doing something that is connected to sociophysics, uh, socio but first of all, he is kind of guy, I, I will send you invitation because usually it's really an experience, at, at least mm -hmm. in life. Because this is the kind of guy that likes to make shows cabaret out of his lectures. So I think that it will be very different from what we saw up till now during all these lectures. So maybe it will be less, up, but I don't know, maybe I advertise it like this and maybe it will still be just normal regular lecture, but we will see. Uh, well, if I have time, I would like to drop uh, in Wrocław for sure, you know, so I will <laughs> put a note on the first one. If I may just say, you know, what, what, what Nikolai uh, mentioned about this lambda, indeed, uh, I think it's we, we don't know how to measure this in deep in you know in practice. But as soon as we know for social planner it would be great. But this is exactly what social planner is aiming at, you know, to manipulate this lambda lambda in in a way. You know, I mean to to achieve what uh, what the social planner wants, right? So this would be a real power. But uh, yeah, I mean uh, yeah, we are not very strong in empirical uh, you know data. But indeed, uh, yeah. I, I think it will not be that obvious how to really, you know, to, to measure that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. In three weeks, we will have Serge Galam, mm -hmm. and he is. You do you know Serge Galam? Do yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 we do. We know, yeah. We Thanks we to you, uh, Kasia. Oh, you know, no? He's always predicting, like, really, he makes predictions. So, yeah. also <laughs> something very different what we are doing that we, he's really uh, yeah, looking at, uh, yeah. At, at the data, usually I don't know. Sometimes his predictions are correct. Some sometimes not. This times not 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 uh, not really. But as he told me, almost correct. So. <laughs> okay. 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 Anyway, it was great to uh, have you here, and I'm looking really forward uh, for Agnieszka, But in two weeks, not in one week. And in one week, we'll have something different. Uh, yeah, Joseph Indeke. And I have no idea what he will talk about. I have to ask him. So, but, but uh, yes, statistical physics for sure, probably in complex systems because this is uh, yeah, this is uh, what is the seminar about. Okay, so thank you very much, and and thank uh, you that's for it the invitation. For today.
Thank you thank very much. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, Cecilia. Thanks. It was great to see you all. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>